Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribe. First, the headlines. PDP governors decry fuel scarcity, reject unsubstantiated subsidy claims, non-availability of foreign exchange responsible for unending fuel scarcity, Pengasin. Federal government identifies solution to oil theft. And now, the news in detail. People's Democratic Party PDP governors yesterday decried the prolonged fuel scarcity in the country, maintaining that it has caused Nigerians excruciating pain. The governor said they will resist any further attempt by a Nigeria National Petroleum Company NMPC, to ascribe unsubstantiated subsidy claims to other tiers of government. The PDP governors record that electricity was 14.23 naira per kilowatt in 2015, but has now risen to 38.530 naira with availability not guaranteed. In a communique read by chairman of PDP Governors Forum, Aminu Tambuwal, he lamented that Dizu, which is critical for running of SMEs, was 131.47 naira in 2015, now cost above 700 naira. Official fuel price was 87 naira in 2015, while black market price for fuel was 155 naira in 2015 it now costs 167 naira and 350 naira respectively he also pointed out that unemployment rate was 11.4% in 2015 but it is now over 33% one of the highest in the world and that poverty rate which in 2015 was 11.3% has risen sharply to about 42.8% presently accumulated inflation in 2015 was about 4%. It is now 15.50%. Inflation rate was 9.0% in 2015 and now about 15.7%, he said. The Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasin, has revealed that the non-availability of foreign exchange at the Central Bank of Nigeria rates to marketers is largely responsible for fuel scarcity in the country. This was disclosed on Wednesday by Pengasin President Mr. Festus Osifu at a news conference in Lagos. He urged that in the short term, the federal government should make foreign exchange available to the importers at the official rates and also remove levies on the import of fuel products. He said marketers source foreign exchange from the parallel market, adding this is without prejudice to the activities of unscrupulous marketers that are bent on milking Nigeria's dry, while calling on the federal government to remove taxes and levies from the importation of petroleum products. He advised that the Nigeria liquefied and natural gas and other gas producers be mandated to focus more on domestic gas production and intensify efforts to fast track the current rate of rehabilitation of the nation's four refineries to guarantee energy security. The federal government has revealed that it has identified a three-element solution to put an end to oil theft in the country, assuring that it is determined to reverse the trend in the oil industry. This was disclosed by the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timipri Silver, during an on-the-spot assessment of some pipelines vandalized by criminals in Iba community of Emoha local government of River State. The minister stated that the days of crude oil thieves, pipeline vandals and illegal bunkers were numbered as federal government would no longer condone any affront on the nation's oil and gas installations. He stated the single biggest problem in Nigeria's oil industry is the problem of security. The federal government is determined to reclaim the industry because the country has lost so much to the activities of criminals, he said. <laughs>
Libya's head of presidential council, PC Mohamed Menfi, has held discussions with the chairman of the country's National Oil Corporation, NOC, Mustafa Sanala, to assess the progress of the corporation, the difficulties facing it, and the way forward. The two parties discussed the features of the development plan for the NOC for the year 2022, which aims to increase daily production and defining the existing commitments of the NOC over the past years. Menfi emphasized the necessity of developing oil fields and ports and keeping the NOC away from political squabbles since it is only responsible for sector affairs. He commended the corporation's employees for fast-tracking production of Libyan oil back despite the difficult circumstances facing them. On his part, San Ala praised the PC's plan to develop the corporation's mechanisms in exploration, production and exports, especially in light of the recent events afflicting oil and gas markets globally. President Vladimir Putin said on Wednesday that Russia would switch its gas sales to unfriendly countries to rubles as a response to the freezing of Russia's assets by foreign nations over events in Ukraine. European countries' dependence on Russian gas and other exports has been thrown into the spotlight since Russia sent tens of thousands of troops into Ukraine on 24 February. Russia will continue, of course, to supply natural gas in accordance with volumes and prices fixed in previously concluded contracts, Putin said at the televised meeting with top government ministers. The change will only affect the currency of payments, which will be changed to Russian rubles he said. Putin revealed that the government and central bank has one week to come up with a solution on how to move these operations to the Russian currency and that gas giant Gazprom would be ordered to make the corresponding changes to gas contracts. <laughs> Coordinator of Nigerian School of Community Networks, NSCN, Haruna Adamu Hadeja, has called on the Minister of Communication and Digital Economy, Professor Isa Pantami, to ensure full implementation of the draft national policy on community networks. Hadeja, who disclosed this yesterday in Lagos at a media briefing, and joined the Galaxy Backbone PLC to provide communities with access to its backbone for them to use as their community network getaways. He urged the Universal Service Provision Fund, USPF, to support the upgrading of the many communities' digital centers they set up in the country to serve as a basis of community networks for communities desirous and passionate to set up such in their communities. He appealed to the Nigeria Communication Commission, NCC, to develop guidelines and regulations for the operation of the community network in the country and allow communities to access and use TV white space for the purposes of setting up community networks. 
Before we end the news, here's a recap of our headlines. PDP governors decry fuel scarcity, reject unsubstantiated subsidy claims. Non-availability of foreign exchange responsible for unending fuel scarcity, Pengasin. Federal government identifies solution to oil theft. And that's the news. I am Naomi Oleribe. Good evening.